hello today we are doing a mod haul and i just want to quickly say i didn't post a video last week because the files got deleted so we're not going to talk about that but we're going to get into this haul here um i'm not sure if many of you guys have heard of Maj before but it is a part of the whole branding smcp which is a company that I work for, and they stand for Sandro Maj and Claudie Perlot. There are a few stores here in Canada now, usually in the Bay. So there are some stores in the US um, and the UK and of course Europe. Maj is also a Parisian brand just like Sandro, and a lot of their styles are very feminine and girly, while Sandro can be a little bit more masculine. Um, but all in all, both of the brands sometimes have items that kind of like style well with each other or correlate or some things are just similar so obviously i do work for the company so disclaimer right now you can read my full disclaimer in the description box below but obviously when you work for a company there are certain discounts and perks that you receive so none of these items i've ever purchased regular price but i will tell you the regular retail price that they go for um and maj in canada at least anyway usually they have discounts quite often so it is pretty nice. And one last thing, the amount of items that I have today are about five pieces. And I want you guys to really start getting used to hauls that don't have huge amounts of items, like 20 plus cheap items, but rather fewer quality items. Um, it's just a lot better that way. That's how I like to spend my money now. Just pieces in your wardrobe that you're not gonna throw out next season, like immediately. I am going to start with the first thing and what's probably in this thumbnail. It is this dress and I don't wear dresses. I really don't at all, but if you guys watch my style resolutions, which I will refer to a lot in my future videos because I'm trying to follow some of them throughout the year, but I wanted to wear more dresses, but I didn't want to steer clear of my personal style, so I picked up this shirt dress that has a bit of like utilitarian or like military vibes to it as well too but yet still girly and feminine um i really like the nude neutral color i feel like i i needed more of this color in my wardrobe i just had a lot of white and black and sometimes those are just two polar opposites and you just need that good neutral it has your standard collar these little like button tabs on the shoulders that give it that like military vibe and on the sleeves it kind of has these pleats that make the shoulder a bit puffy and then at the bottom of it, it also has this tie, which kind of creates like a little bit of a flare. There's just a lot going on with this dress, but it's still, it's still not over the top, especially because it's a nude color. Um, yeah, and it kind of makes it a, a slight bell sleeve and you can like bow it or just knot it um, as you wish. And then when you get to like the waistline of the dress, it ruches and it cinches in your waist, which is always really flattering for like everyone. Um, I usually wear it with like a deep V and then it goes out into this like flare skirt um, bottom. It's such a good dress like and it's cotton and like such a good weighted cotton. It's not it's heavy, but it's not like overwhelming i wore it on mother's day and it was such a good look this is me in a dress i would wear this casually with sneakers or dressed up with boots um yeah i love this piece so much and this one is retailing for 4.55 canadian the next thing that i have is a bag and it's actually the way i wore the dress um on mother's day and i was really missing Again, like a nude um, tan bag for my wardrobe. So Maj has quite a few of these fringe bags going around and they are so cute. I was like this close to getting like this bright orange one, um, but I was like, I do have a bag similar like that already. I just feel like the nude, it kind of gives me some Chloe vibes, a little like Western, kind of like cowboy or cowgirlish. I feel like the fringe is so cute the way they did it on the sides and they also did it in the back as well too. Things that are just better quality and at a higher price point, a lot of the times they'll mimic what's in the front on the back as well too. It just looks more uniform overall. So the fringe is also in the back um, and then the handles are this kind of like basic leather circle thing. With Maj items, most of their pieces are like really unique and have a lot of things going on with them like prints and like bows and frills but it just works it's just they're such a good brand you guys should check them out if you've never shopped with them before it also has this leather strap which is detachable so you can wear the bag just like a clutch or you can wear it as a crossbody as well and it just says maj right on that little leather circle 
um, handle. I'm a little sad about this because I wore it in the rain. Don't be like me, it's suede. So um, spray your bags and your like suede shoes. Now I know for next time to not wear it in the rain, but it's really, really subtle watermarks. You can barely see them. And like once you put the pile one way, you kind of, you can't really see. I love this piece so much and it pairs well with almost everything because it's a nude neutral item. Oh, and that bag is going for 310. The next thing that I have is a pair of white denim. It's always a struggle for me to find like the perfect pair of white jeans. But um, yeah, I found a fun pair. They're not like a classic pair, but they're kind of fun. So they're just a pair of high-waisted white um, jeans. And at first they look very simple and plain, but at the bottom hem they feature fringing. And this is just so fun and cute. I wore them with my white boots the other day, and then I also styled them with that fringe bag. And I was just unintentionally like fringing it out. But it looks so cute together. Um, white and nudes like that's the thing in summer you're wearing so much more white so I'm so glad I have that uh, nude tan bag now just to pair with everything because black is just a little bit too harsh um, next to white sometimes they're just a really really fun pair of jeans and they also come in black and kind of like a light wash color considering going back for maybe the black would be nice I feel like the black one would be a good buy especially with like some black boots but yeah, these ones are really stretchy um, and they're high-waisted. They're almost borderline jegging, I'm going to be completely honest, but that's what makes them super soft and really comfortable um, because in the summertime you don't want, I don't know, I love a good stiff 100% cotton pair of denim, but in the summertime you just don't want that. Sometimes it gets way too uncomfortable, um, so I feel like this is just really good. And on the back pockets, it just has, I think they have this on most of their jeans, it just has like the stitching swoop, um, but it doesn't say like mauve or anything anywhere, which is nice. I'm, I like my denim to not have like obvious branding. I probably should say the sizes of these things. In Maj and Sandro items, I can't really speak for Claudie Perlow because we don't have one here in Toronto. They only go up to roughly a size US 8, which is either a size 3 or a 40. In a lot of items like tops um, and dresses, they'll do 1, 2, 3. A 1 is usually a US 2 slash 4. Um, a size 2 is usually about a 6 slash 8. And sometimes a 3 can be either an 8 slash 10. It really depends um, on the item and how oversized it is, if there's no stretch or anything. Then some of the items like denim and stuff will go from like size 36 to 40. Um, occasionally, I notice we're getting some like 34s and 42s. And I find that's for like the denim that has no stretch at all. For me, I'm pretty much a size US six on top sometimes a four and a us eight on my bottoms so my bottoms i take a size 40 um if they have stretch and a 42 if they don't and then for dresses um and tops i wear a size two and the fringe jeans were going for 340. the next thing i have i featured in my last video if you guys stayed until the end it is this leather frilled bag strap this it's just a strap, but it makes like my heart sing. It's so pretty. It's pretty much going off of all of the guitar strap trends um, that are going around at the moment. Like Fendi has quite a few of them. Um, a lot of like luxury designers, but I think it was really nice to see like a contemporary designer um, have their take on it. And frills are like Maj's specialties. I just really liked how girly and feminine the frills were, but I liked that it was black leather. It kind of offset um, the femininity of it. So yeah, it just has like these light gold um, clasps to like clasp on a lot of your bags and I've been clasping it on let me get um, the bag. I've been clasping it on this uh, DKNY um, very tiny top handle bag. I think it looks so cute together. I'm not gonna lie, it creates like a short crossbody strap, but I actually really like that look. I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of um, guitar straps and like crossbodies are getting a bit shorter and they like sit kind of like right underneath the bust line. I feel like your bag feels more secure and like right by your side and I don't know, it just looks cooler in my opinion. This is it on the bag and it just it just really adds something special to it. Like the bag just looks so much more elevated and unique and you'd be like, where did you get that? The hardware on this bag is a silver, but the gold of like the metal on the strap isn't that like 
too bright like of a yellow gold so it still works um and i think it's just so cute like who even thinks of this? That's what I really like about um, Maj and Sandra. Like, a lot of their items are really unique. I will say, sometimes they do have items that are a nod to, like, luxury designers. But a lot of their clothing um, and a lot of their accessories, too, are quite unique. And you're not going to see anywhere else. So, I think this is such a unique design. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know if some other designer has a frilled bag strap. But, yeah. This strap was going for, I believe... 150 Canadian. The last item that I have is this frilled white shirt. I love a good shirt, uh, like I said before, and I just I want to pick up different ones that have just different features to it. Um, my sister said this looks like a judge shirt, which I I can't blame her, but don't lie. I know you've said this before. Like, how many of you have always said? Oh, like I need a nice top to go with like this pair of jeans I'm just gonna wear a nice top and jeans tonight like I feel like it's hard you and then you actually like look in your closet and you don't have that nice top honestly Maj has a lot of those tops um, to go for um, so I essentially I didn't want to I didn't meet I didn't pick this up to wear super dressy I picked it up to wear with like a pair of like cut off denim shorts to kind of like offset that um, very casual vibe. So it features a high neck that's ruched and like frilled. Um, the shoulders feature some frills that look like you can fly away with. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think they're really cool and they kind of like dip into a V on the side. And again, they're also mimicked on the back. And then it goes into um, a cinched and frilled sleeve, which honestly makes it really easy to kind of like scrunch up the sleeves on your arms. Um, yeah, and then it just has like a slight curved hem bottom. And then on the back, there's like a slight keyhole with uh, two little button closures. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this shirt a lot. And I feel like it's just going to be that really dressy top of my wardrobe that I can dress down or dress up for like dinner and stuff. And this shirt was going for, I believe, 255, 260, something like that. That's the end of my Maj haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are maybe inspired to shop there now. If you don't want to like splash out on like luxury design goods, um, they're such a good contemporary brand to hit up. And I spoke about them again in my New Year's style resolutions. Um, and also in that video, I listed like a bunch of other contemporary brands that I love. Um, and that are just good places to like shop at if you're just over shopping at H&M and Zara. Um, whether that's because everybody has their stuff or because you just want to be more mindful of where you shop. Don't forget to click my face to subscribe and watch these other videos that you may have missed. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I have so much more inspiration over there um, in terms of like outfits and styling and stuff. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload videos. Uh, and yeah, love you guys so much. Take care.